approximately 24% of Fulbright applicants received a grant in the 2015-2016 application cycle, a slight increase from the last two cycles, meaning one in every 4.3 applicants got a grant. Oh, wow! This is just one out of the several scholarship programs out there for international students, irrespective of country, level of study, or program of interest. The good news is, you can be one of the beneficiaries. Birds, there's always a bird. Are you diligent enough to complete the application process? Do you have all the necessary requirements? Or do you know how to search and choose the optimal scholarships to increase your chances? Before beginning any search, you should be able to clearly answer the following questions. What's your program of interest? Is it data science, security, finance, business administration? What's your desired degree level? Are you looking for a master's, MBA, or PhD? Where do you want to study? You must have precise answers for the first two. The third, however, is facultative. You could be open to any country as long as the program matches your needs. Your answers to the above questions will help to considerably narrow down your search. Without them, you'll waste a lot of time and frankly, cash. I know, right? Now, where do you start your search? The answer is in three simple words. Start with Google. Literally type what you're looking for. For example, data science scholarships in Germany, masters in finance scholarships in Finland. Have in mind that you won't probably find that I do scholarship from the first hit. Reason why? You need to be diligent and consistent in the search process. It could take days or even months. Make sure you set a daily target. A smart target. You can purpose to spend an hour daily in searching for scholarships. Don't apply for one scholarship and fold your arms. It wasn't launched for you. While there isn't a fixed number, I recommend applying for three to five in a year. If you think for a second that three is too much, then ask yourself how long it would take to repay your tuition in case you took a loan. Instead of figuring out how many scholarships to apply for, ask more important questions such as Have I been spending enough time on each application? How many scholarships do I need to make up my tuition? Do I really put in the necessary effort in my applications? Have I simply been doing copy and paste? All of these should motivate you enough to apply for multiple scholarships. Though each application has unique requirements, there's a list of popular requirements which every aspiring beneficiary should prepare in advance. These include a CV or resume, probably a CV because scholarships are academic. A curriculum vitae is simply a summary of an individual's education, work experience, and qualifications. For detailed information on steps to create a professional CV, I invite you to watch our previous video on the subject. You'll find the link at the end of this video. Most scholarships require a personal statement. In case of a graduate program, you could be asked in addition for your research objectives. Both are ACEs, the challenging part of the application for most people. A personal statement is to a scholarship application what a cover letter is to a job application. Impressive! Basically an essay where you convince the scholarship board of why you should receive the award. One important thing to have in mind is you don't have to write all in a day or a few days for that matter. It's a step-by-step -step process. Take time to brainstorm and write little portions every day until you have a complete AC. Whether you plan to apply for scholarships or not, your GPA is definitely important. 
A good GPA isn't gotten in a day. It starts from the beginning to the end of your program. The higher, the better. That's right. Actually, most scholarships and certain jobs require at least three on four. But if you fall short, it isn't the end of the world. Simply narrow down your search to scholarships with less strict GPA requirements. A good GPA implies a good transcript and consequently a good certificate. This requirement is tricky because it also depends on your institution. Given the administrative procedures and protocol involved, there could be delays. Be proactive and secure all your transcripts and certificates at least three months prior to applying. Why not set the plan in motion before graduating? I know, right? Be equally prepared to translate your documents in case they aren't in the official language of the program you intend to apply for. You must submit letters of recommendation, often two or three. Make arrangements for three just in case. Imagine that someone meets you for the first time and requests a favor. How would it look like? Awkward, right? Exactly. Yet, it's a common mistake students make. To avoid that, invest time in networking with your professors. Build casual relationships with them. If you don't know how to go about it, do check our video, The Art of Small Talk. Be mindful that professors are very busy, meaning you need to request for letters early enough and constantly remind them. Standardized tests serve as a common base to compare the performance of students across different countries due to the diverse educational systems. The popular tests for undergraduate programs include the SAT Reasoning Test, SAT for Standard Aptitude Test, commonly known as SAT-1, tests the academic knowledge and analytical thinking of students. The SAT Subject Test, commonly known as SAT-2, is where students showcase their strength in specific subjects such as biology, physics, mathematics, and so on. Often two or three are required. TOEFL or IELTS, both English proficiency tests which demonstrate your ability to study in English. TOEFL is American, while IELTS is British. For graduate studies, first and foremost, the graduate record examination, which tests analytical writing, qualitative reasoning, and verbal reasoning. Wonderful! The graduate management admission test, mainly to get into an MBA program. LSATs for those looking at law school, and of course, TOEFL or IELTS for English proficiency. Take note of the minimum scores required by the scholarships you are targeting for each of these tests, if applicable. In a nutshell, know exactly what type of program you are looking for in terms of the major, degree level, and country. Be proactive and gather all the key requirements in advance and always remember to start with Google. <laughs>